Folks, welcome back to the Wild West Crypto Show. Happy Halloween. You can see we're dressed yes. up as cowboys, right? <laughs> we're coming to you from World CryptoCon Day 2. Viva Las Vegas. I'm Drew. I'm Brent. And we have with us rocking the cowboy hat, Lito. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> Howdy, partner. I like it, man. He's assuming the... There you go. He's getting into it already. He isn't is. He is. Uh, Lito, tell us yes, what in the heck you're doing. You know, Lito comes over here and he says, all right, let me tell you something. He started talking stuff there where I go to sleep in and I said, save it for the show. <laughs> so here we go, man. Tell us what you're doing. Okay, so first off, I snuck in here. <laughs> I'll, I'll be completely honest, but I'm a researcher, part of fedtech.io. And what FedTech does is they try to commercialize solutions and build a startup team, myself being the entrepreneur, around some innovative technology out of Sandia National Laboratories, the Department of Defense, or the Department of Energy. Okay. So that's why we're here today. Okay, so, so yeah, elaborate on that, because our redneck buddies so wait, are... Does, does that mean you're here to steal technology? Oh, absolutely not. We're here to protect your data. <laughs> okay, there you go. Absolutely. You, yeah. So, so let's talk about cybersecurity. You bet. Cybersecurity concerns. Now, we created a idea out of this innovative technology called Hades, all right? And what this idea means is, uh, let me put it into an example. Do you know what the difference is between manslaughter and murder? I know they're both dead. They're both dead. But the difference between those two is intent. Yes. Is it intent to do harm? Right. Now with Hades, we are able to capture a cybersecurity attacker's intent to do harm. Mm -hmm. Because right now, the best thing that a cybersecurity team can do is just pull the plug on your network. Right. And when you pull the plug, that means your business stops. It means you can't actually analyze what's going on, and you don't know if they're going to come back. But With, if you tripped over the cord and accidentally unplugged... I mean, you could do that, too. <laughs> okay, but I'm telling you, intent, there's mm -hmm. not intent. There's not intent, then that's totally fine. But if you were a, a, a part of a team scoping out an operation, and you are... What's what we call a like a sting operation, yeah. right? And you see somebody going in there and accessing data that they shouldn't be accessing. Now that is greater than probable cause. Yes. So with Hades, we can say, hey, this person is attacking your data. They're trying to steal it. And from there, we can call the Fed. Huh. Very interesting. So, Absolutely. you know, obviously the, you know, Hades is code word for hell. So if you have bad intentions. Yeah. So, which, uh, <laughs> so Hades was a... Uh, Primarily, it, it, what it stands for is a high fidelity, adaptive deception and emulation system. So for any of the technologists out there, it's it's a network forensic tool that sits at a metavisor layer, just right underneath an operating system, okay. or right underneath a hypervisor if you're running a cloud environment, hybrid cloud environment, or on-premise data center. Okay. So it's getting real technical. But hey, hey, Brent, yeah. our, our Billy Bob's out there scratching yeah. his head, and the cows uh, are scratching He's probably their scratching heads. more than his head on this deal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I tell you, you know, my daughters called me Hades when it was dating time, you know, when, yeah. when they grew up, because... Uh, because I, ha I had that intent meter myself, and, and, <laughs> and if they got past my intent meter, That's right. my wife's intent meter was never wrong. I mean, yeah. never wrong. And yeah. all she had to do was give me the look, and Junior was headed out the door. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. And, and once I put Junior out the door, he never came back. Yeah. So I, I can understand that. So for all my, all my redneck buddies out there, basically what these guys do is they sit there watching this activity, protecting your databases from, from this ill intent, and, you know, um, personally, I'm ready to institute the death penalty for all these hackers, okay? Yeah. And yeah, if they need yeah. somebody to kill them, I'll do the switch myself. <laughs> That's because, not a threat. Because if you've, yeah. ever, if you've ever lost your data to one of these guys, yep. you know, I mean, it's just like, it, it'd be game on like Donkey Kong. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so I mean, this, this was created to protect yourself both from... A, a, a script kitty or an or a amateur hacker up to a nation state sponsored attack. Because this was formulated inside the intelligence community. This right. was something that I looked at as the entrepreneur with a background of technology myself, prior military as well, uh, working with the Air Force. The thank Army, you for your service, uh, by the way. Yeah. Thank you for your support. Uh, working with Joint Special Operations. And, and we knew that we had to execute what we needed to do in order to stop a greater threat. So stopping a greater threat in this case for cybersecurity and your data is one of the most valuable things that you can get rid of nowadays, and we want to make sure that's secure. You bet. Yeah, yeah. Now, do, you, do you think if the Wild West Crypto Show, you know, donated some hats for some of your programmer guys, they'd catch them better? Oh, absolutely. Are you kidding me? <laughs> wide hats. Have to do wide hats. Wide hats. Yeah, you know, and, and, and what your data is king. We know it. It's actually becoming a commodity. Yes, sir. Right? And almost everything is getting on this, what they used to call the interweb. And, you know, and, and so, and it's, 
you guys know how to go in and hack this stuff. I mean, a guy like me, I can barely get in there and order pizza, right. you know. But the people that can go and do this, and when almost everything you do is trackable, and it is out there on the internet. Yeah. It's real easy for to get, you know, companies are built that protect their data. They get a big insurance policy yeah. and do a, and so what you guys are doing, you're doing that at the highest levels now. Yes, we're trying to do it at the highest levels because we realize that implementing a system like this just requires so much infrastructure. But if we're able to actually make this proof of concept a reality, yeah. then what I'm hoping for is that this can be proliferated down to the consumer level. So sure. that this would be freely adopted to everybody else. Yeah. So that, you know, one of the biggest problems right now is, well, one of the biggest scares would be identity theft. Yeah. Like, how would you actually protect that? Well, what if there was just a, a fake copy of you? Yeah. That was the outward facing you, who if anybody was trying to get your data, that was what they were actually getting. Hmm. Which is just useless information which in world war ii part of how we end around the germans is they took and with they, the enigma machine that's yep. exactly Absolutely right, right. Yeah, yeah yep so yeah very very interesting so where are y'all at in the process so where we're at right now is that the technology is patented but it's not ours so the okay. inventor his name is vincent urias a really great guy he has 16 publications in forensics cybersecurity. uh j- j- just a really 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 smart dude yeah we have to show a business use case that people want this so okay. that we can get this technology transferred outside of the laboratory to get it commercialized yeah. so that private industry can take over and that there is no conflict of interest between private industry and the government. So that's our job is yeah. to find a user. And, and when, we, when we say a user or a champion customer, we're talking critical infrastructure systems, yeah. water, energy, power, big banks, small banks, credit unions, whatever, where it requires that type of service in order to maintain your community. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, to keep their, they talk about it all the time. What happens if somebody hacks into our power grid? Yeah, what if somebody here, you know, maybe running Monero or a blockchain ransomware service targets your infrastructure? Yeah. How do you prevent against that? Yeah, yeah. Well, what if you can prevent it before it happens because yeah. you've detected it and then now they're yeah. In a deceptive network that doesn't do anything. Absolutely. Love it, man. Man, we, I, we need to talk to this guy again. I know, so, right? Ma- make sure you get his card and put a big, put two stars by it. Put three. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know what? Uh, let me tell you something. You're rocking the cowboy hat, that- you know, dressed up as a cowboy fan. You know, Brent, we've had a lot of people dress up for Halloween for us, you know? I know, and, and they they stole our costume. I know. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know what it is? So, so this is on the most basic level. He's kind of changed his identity. He said everybody thinks he's a cowboy. So when he sneaks in there and he finds out what data they're stealing. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. He's there, he's got the costume going. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Lido, awesome project. Please keep us posted. As y'all yes, get sir. further, like you said, right now you're proving the concept, proving that people want it. It isn't that people want it. People need it. Yes, sir. Some of them just, they need to be educated. They yes, need they it. Yes, they just right? don't know that they need it. That's yet. exactly right. Exactly you better right. so keep in touch because what we do is deliver the best information out there. And we'll, as y'all do updates and all that, we'll announce them to the world. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Wild West Crypto Show. See, folks, we bring all this content. You know, Brent, I love the fact that, I mean, we're just kind of the easygoing guys that go in and say, all right, look smart. <laughs> that make us look good. Absolutely. <laughs> that's that's hard job. to do. <laughs> that's hard to do. Wild West Crypto Show. Stay tuned. Folks, thanks for watching Wild West Crypto Show. Please subscribe to us right here. And you can watch more videos right over here. Additionally, if you'll turn the little bell on, every time we upload a new and exciting video, you'll be notified. Thanks for watching the Wild West Crypto Show.